Okay, um, in this video, we, we are going to answer this question, what is a logarithm? So, by the end of uh, this video, you will be able to find the values of uh, these given expressions here without using a calculator. Okay, so let's uh, get on with it. Um, we're going to start with uh, notational issues. So, the expression log y uh, base b. Um, so first of all, um, this expression is a red uh, logarithm of y uh, to base b. Um, or in short, we we'll simply uh, say log y base b. B. So that is the uh, meaning of uh, this uh, expression written here. Uh, now, in, in terms of uh, the typesetting, um, so the log and uh, the y uh, are regular sized characters, and then the b is a uh, smaller. Um, character it is a subscript so that is in terms of uh, typesetting uh, in t or in terms of writing this the other thing that we should note is that uh, this situation here is not b to the power y so um, you know, for b to the power y b is regular sized and then y is smaller and uh, a superscript here y is uh, regular sized and uh, it's the b that is smaller and uh, a subscript all right so that's in terms of the notation and typesetting so what is the meaning of uh, log y base b um we're going to do this uh, in two steps so um the first step uh, so log y base b is equal to uh, the exponent um, and then we're going to pause uh, a moment here so the from this we're going to note that in general a log is an exponent okay so i'm just going to put this here a logarithm is an exponent so that is going to help us uh, as we go along with uh, our our study here so log y base b is uh, the exponent so let's uh, complete this so this is the exponent to uh, which uh, the base b uh, must be raised must be raised uh, to get y okay so um, log y base b is saying okay b is a base um, so to what exponent should we raise this base to get this one so in effect uh, what this thing is saying or, or rather what this thing is asking for is uh, if you say b um, to some power is equal to y then what is going to be the value of the question mark so b here is the base to what exponent should we raise b to get y alternatively uh, you can think of this as uh, saying if we express y as uh, a power with base b, what is going to be the exponent? So that is the um, that is the uh, explanation for what a log is. So let's see how this works out uh, uh, with uh, some numerical examples. All right. Um, so here are some examples of uh, logarithms. Uh, for which we are going to find the values. 
Um, so from what we've said, um, the uh, log is uh, an exponent. So here, the answer should be an exponent, which is such that 2 to the power of that exponent gives us 16. Here, the answer should be such 5 raised to that exponent gives us 25. So if we start with uh, the second one, for instance, we know that 5 squared is 25. So that means the exponent we're looking for is 2 here. So that means log 25 base 5 is equal to 2. Uh, for 16 here, well, what power of 2 gives us 16? So let's uh, use a calculator to help us with that. Um, so if we start with 2 times 2, that gives us 4. And then if we do 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 cubed, gives us 8. And then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that's 2 to the power 4, gives us 16. That means the exponent we're looking for is 4. So log of uh, 16 base 2 is 4. This time the base is 10. And uh, the value we want to end up with is 0 0.01. So we're going to say 10 to some power is 0 0.01. Um, what we can do is write a 0 0.01 as a fraction. Uh, it's going to be 1 over 100. 1 over 100 is 1 over 10 squared. So this is 10 to the power minus 2. So that tells us that the power we're looking for there is minus 2 okay so in general if uh, if uh, this uh, number here uh, is uh, a fraction smaller than 1 then our exponent is going to be negative for d saying to what power should we raise 7 to get 7 well the power is going to be 1 in that case so this is such that 7 to the power 1 is equal to 7. This time, to what power should we raise b to get b to the power 8? Uh, this time, the question actually provides the answer because the power is 8. So the answer is going to be 8. Uh, here, to what power should we raise 3 to get 81? Okay, you might be aware that uh, 3 to the power 4 is 81. Let's just uh, work it out here. 3 to the power 4 is 81. But since this is the reciprocal of 81, we are looking for the negative power of 3. So that's going to be negative 4. All right, I'm going to give you a few minutes to have a go at uh, these remaining four. You can press, um, you can pause the video and then when you continue, then you can compare with our answers. Okay, for G, we're looking for a power to which we must raise four to get um, 64. So if we uh, um, make use of the calculator, 4 squared we know is 16, so if we go back there and uh, make that power 1 bigger, 4 cubed, 64, so that tells us the power. Okay, then um, to what power should we raise 7 to get 49? We know 49 is 7 squared, so the power we're looking for is 2. For i, to what power should we raise b to get 1? Um, so if we want 1 here, and the power we're looking for is 0. Uh, in fact, uh, 
let's find the, out the in general log one to any base is always zero for this one to what power should we raise two to get 0 0.25 so we're going to saying two to some power is 0 0.25 again if we write this as a fraction it's one over four um then one over four is one over two squared so that's two to the minus two that means the power we're looking for is minus two alternatively of course we could uh, look for this numerically uh we try powers of two so we know two squared is four so that's much bigger than we're looking for so we go down so try two to the power zero is one uh, point two five is still less than one so then we go uh, even lower so we try two to the power negative one uh, that's one one half which is point five point two five is even smaller so we go um, minus two and then we find uh, that that is point two five all right um so that brings us to the end of uh, that um hopefully it has been helpful um please do not forget to subscribe um so that we can make uh, more material like this one thank you